Hey guys, welcome back to No Catch Name. It's me, Ella. Today, I'm going to show you a haul of random things. <laughs> Stuff I got off of Amazon and from my Etsy shop and from Joanne's. <laughs> and I think that's it. <laughs> but I just want to hop on here. Um, I went to Joanne's today. Uh, I went to get batting, but they didn't have any of the big rolls of batting that you buy the whole roll. Just the kind you buy by the yard. So, I ended up getting yarn. <laughs> Do I need yarn? No. But I still bought some. So, and then there's some other things I'm going to show you too. And, yeah. So, let's just hop into it. So, I'll, I'll start with the yarn first. Because then if you're not interested in any of that stuff, you can leave. So, all I got was eight balls of Big Twist. Because it was on sale. Um, Four for twelve. I believe is what it was. Yeah, it was three dollars each. Uh, and also I noticed like almost every single aisle of the yarn, the Joanne's Yarn House, which the one I went to is in Mount Juliet, Tennessee. It's like an hour away from here. That's why I don't go very often because it's really far away. Um, it has like six or seven yarn aisles and every one of them had clearance yarn on it. I guess they're doing a big redo like uh, Hobby Lobby. So I guess check that out if you want to buy any yarn. <laughs> but anyways, I tried to think of colors that I needed for my stash. But I don't know if I did a 100% good job at getting different colors. So, I knew I had a lot of cherry red up here. But I needed, like, a hot red. So, I did grab two balls of the red. It's probably called red. It's called Varsity Red. So, it's like a hot red. It's evening. It's already dark outside. So, the lighting's not the greatest. So, I got two balls of those. And this is just a regular big twist of value. So, it's like Red Heart Super Saver. And it's 380 yards each ball. So, they were $3 each. I thought that was pretty good. I got two of those. I grabbed this pink color because I thought it was really pretty. It's called watermelon. That's pretty. I thought it was just really pretty pink. It's not that good. I got my light up there, but it's, it's kind of washed out. At least on my phone. It might look better when I'm editing it. But oh well. It doesn't matter. It's a pretty watermelon color. I thought it was super cute. And then I got gray because I have right here a few grays. A lot of this right here is Aran weight, so it's a little bit bigger than uh, worsted weight, which is what I typically use. It's the Dollar Tree yarn. And then I got like a couple. One of them's in the living room. Uh, Red Heart Grays. So I, I wanted another gray. This one is called Titanium Gray. It's pretty. It's just a nice gray color. They were kind of already picked over. I guess this sale had already started a few days ago or something. Yesterday maybe. So it was really picked over. <laughs> there wasn't a lot to choose from. But I did remember some colors I needed. And then my green is over here. I have a bunch of Glow Worm in a couple other shades. So I'll grab two shades of green. This one is called Olive Drab. <laughs> I think it's a pretty color. Kind of reminds me of the Red Heart Tea Leaf colors, I think it is. Or Tom. Tom. The squeaking noise is still squeaking. <laughs> and then this is other green that I got. I didn't I couldn't remember if I had any like hunter color greens. So I found this one. It's a varsity green, so it's like a bright green. And it does look like up here I do have like a dark green. But this is like a dark but bright green. Does that make sense? <laughs> really pretty. I like it. And then I got some browns. I knew I needed some browns. Right here's my browns. I do have like a lot of brown. But it's not a lot of different shades. If that makes sense. But I got these two big giant balls. That um, Rose gifted me. And this is also a kind of big one too. Like all three of those are really big. <laughs> so I grabbed two browns as well. This one is called Chocolate. So it's a pretty dark brown. And then the last one I grabbed is Toffee. I like this color too. It's kind of similar to this one, but not exactly. <laughs> I wanted a variety of shades so that whenever I found like an emigrant that I want to work on, I can, um, you know, come and pick. Now that I'm looking at my stash, I wish I had grabbed some more oranges. But I'm good on blues and purples and yellows. I wish I had grabbed some oranges, but that's okay. Whatever. I'll do it next time. <laughs> so this is, it's weird for me to buy yarn because I don't really buy a lot of yarn. Uh, last year, I made it the whole year. We're just buying two balls of Red Heart Amethyst. And this year, so far, I'm pretty sure all I bought was, where is it? It's in one of these ones. It's kind of hidden. I think it's right here. <laughs> a, like a value bag of like a beige color, peachy beige color that I thought would be good for like a skin, skin tone. I'm pretty sure that's all I bought this year that I can think of. 
so far other than these <laughs> but i wasn't planning on buying yarn i was planning on buying a big roll of batting which i'm gonna have to order online i think because they didn't have any in store i guess had already been bought and they had the cotton ones but i didn't need cotton batting um and i looked at the fabric and there was a lot of fabric on sale too they had a lot of good uh door busters but i don't really need fabric i still have a big container back here full of fabric that I already purchased or that has been gifted to me and I really want to work through that before I start bringing more new fabric into the house because I got I got kind of a lot I have worked it down a lot but it's there's still plenty of bags to be made but yeah so I was going to get a super hot pink but it it resembled a lot of um red heart is it called hot pink some it looked a lot like that so I went ahead and put it back and that's when I saw the browns so I put that back and I put something else back that I got. And I got the two shades of brown. But, uh, so that's the yarn that I bought at Joann's. <laughs> I did also look at the books, but, uh, they were all mixed up and I only found like two crochet books and one of them I didn't really like and one I already have. <laughs> so, uh, I didn't want to dig through the books. And yeah, so that's all that I got that's crochet related. I do have a crochet pattern that I was working on that I'm going to show like an update on, but I'm going to do that later. I'm just doing a haul right now. So if you want to see that, skip. If you don't want to see anything, just leave. <laughs> But, um, this is fabric I bought for my most recent giveaway winner. She, uh, Colleen, she won the giveaway that I do at the beginning of every month now. I've done it twice. Um, for anyone who purchases stickers from my sister's Etsy shop between the 1st and the 7th of the new month. So I'll do it again in May. Um, we'll get entered into a giveaway. And then they get to pick a, either a drawstring or a tote bag. And then they get to kind of pick the print. She said cats. She likes cats and red. So, um, I found a bunch of cat prints online and I sent her the screenshot of them so she could kind of pick. And she picked this one. She said she liked this one. So, I did purchase a yard. So, half of it will go to making her bag. And then the other half, I'll probably make a tote for um, my shop eventually next time. The next update will be probably be tote bags and notion pouches because people have been asking about notion pouches. But anyways, this is the print that she picked out. It's like cats on a beach. <laughs> it's so cute. I got this from an Etsy shop. But I couldn't find it like on Joanne or anything. In the Etsy shop I got that right here. I will link it below too if you like fabric and want to check it out. <clears throat> She's in that cute purple mailer. It's got a sticker there. Let's see here. It's called Textiles and Vintage Finds by Suzanne Chili's? Chills? her little card but i will link it below if you want to um go check it out and she just sent a little printout of a thank you and then um care instructions but it's a whole little yard it was kind of expensive for me because i normally only buy discounted fabric but it was for giveaway winner and plus i know i can make another bag to sell in my shop so it's kind of like i will recoup the price after shipping and everything it was like 23 dollars, which is a lot of money for me to spend on a yard fabric uh, cause I normally buy like Joanne fabric, so it's not that expensive. I always buy it on sale. But like I said, I'll be able to, I'll make the second bag and put it in my shop. But she did request a tote, so I'm going to be working on that this week and get it out to her next Saturday. Because I can only go to the post office once a week now. I still got to email her and tell her that unless she's watching this and then she'll know. <laughs> but, uh, anyways, I got the fabric, so I'm going to be working on that. And I think I'll make the liner red, the liner in the pocket, cause she said that she likes cats and red. So, um, I know I got some red fabric right there, so I will probably line it with red and make a red pocket but anyway so that's that, Put that there <laughs> the next is just a bunch of amazon stuff but i'm still gonna show it to you because it's just yeah i put in like a random amazon order some of it was birthday stuff for jesse his birthday is may 1st he'll be seven years old mine is a week later mine's may 7th so i think that's cool but uh this is a random thing that i bought <laughs> this is a grape cutter i wanted one of these when jesse was little and i never got around to buying it because it's kind of expensive for just like a little gadget it's, it was 12 dollars <laughs> But, um, I thought, you know, I wasn't planning on having another baby and then I ended up having another baby. So, um, I bought it for June <laughs> so that when she starts eating grapes, I can, um, cut them up without having to sit there with the knife and do it. Uh, so, and I see a lot of YouTubers I watch that cook have these and, um, I wanted it, so I bought it. <laughs> but I haven't opened it yet. I gotta open it and clean it. But, uh, it's just a grape cutter. I'll link it below if you're interested. <laughs> and this is a birthday gift for Jesse. This is something that attaches to his switch and it lets you charge uh, the Joy-Cons. It like plugs into the charger, the switch charger. It's like a USB thingy like this. 
and then you can charge the, all your different joy cons <laughs> if you don't know anything about switch you don't know but the people who do so this is one of his birthday presents and then this is a little game that i've been wanting to get for a while for me and jesse to play with and then june when she's old enough to understand the concept of it and it's just a balancing game with little dinosaurs they must be really little because this box is tiny but this is also a birthday gift for him it's called dinosaur balance game it's been in my wish list for a while i have a bunch of wish lists lists <laughs> i make them for everything <laughs> but uh, it's just this cute little game you like you stack them up different ways and then you gotta try to stack them all up before you knock them over i'm gonna open this real quick i want to see how small they are well they are small I, for some reason i thought they were gonna be bigger but it's kind of better that's small because it won't be so loud oh they're cute look at them that's one of those duck bill ones i don't know their names this is like a triceratop this is a long neck. They're cute. And this is the little part that you balance them on. This is going to be fun. Let's see if I can get these back in there. They are little, but that's cute. And it comes with a little storage bag. That is adorable. That would be cute to take with us uh, in the car to play, like, at, if we go to a restaurant or something while we're waiting on our food. And it won't be too, like, allowed if it falls. It's not big and clunky. Let's see if I can get back in the box. I still gotta get a few more gifts for him. He already knows what he's getting because we've already talked about. Well, he doesn't know about this, but he knows about this because he specifically asked for this and a couple of things. And then we also got um, this is Pokemon themed birthday decorations. He wanted Pokemon themed stuff, so I ordered this and I ordered it from like a. It was from Amazon, but it's like a shady looking seller. The images, everything was kind of blurred out because of copyright. So I don't think they were supposed to sell this because it's not. Maybe they don't have the license for it. But there was only one in stock. And I was like, it was only like $20. And I was like, well, I'll risk it. And it comes with, this is like a tablecloth with Pokemon on it. And this is a balloon with Pikachu on it. I think it's two. Yeah, it's two balloons. I have to fold those back up. And this is like little, uh, you hang them up and then I like have streamers hanging from them. I have like these things but they're pokemon ones see this is not even a pokemon themed i think this is like um knockoffs but they like stole the imaging i don't know i don't know he wanted pokemon and it's hard to find pokemon stuff <laughs> um this is more like decorations i kind of feel bad now and it came with little uh forks with pokemon stuff on top of it you see it and it also has spoons and knives. Oh, that was so cute. Um, this is like to put in the cake, which Walmart has in their bakery decorations. They have Pokemon ones. So, then little cake plates. I think there's eight of them. And this is a bag of balloons. And the balloons have Pikachu, Charmander, Bulbasaur, and Squirtle on them. And then there's like ribbon in there to hang them up with. So, mine bought that from like a shady place. Who knows? But it is Pokemon themed, so that's what he wanted. And then I bought these for the homeschooling. We're, we're almost done with first grade, but I can use them for him with him in second grade. And then uh, they're, they're good, you know, quality, so they'll last for June if we continue homeschooling. But they're just uh, math, I can't even say it, manipulatives. It's just things that they can mess with physically to help them with math you know like you can get three orange ones and six red ones and do math that way um like that so we got through you know he's really good at basic math first grade math but we're getting into we'll be we'll be getting into like multiple digit adding and subtracting and learning how to carry numbers and all that stuff and i'm teaching him old school math not common core <laughs> um so i think this will be a big help for him and uh june eventually when she gets old enough to do it let's see is that everything i am is on one two three four five six seven two more things one was a bath mat <laughs> a really long one because we had like a regular size one in june when she got past that in her when she's saying bath she gets, it's slipping around everywhere <laughs> so i wanted one that was full like the whole bottom of the bathtub so i ordered that there were seven things bath mat the blocks the pokemon things the dinosaur game the switch thing the grape cutter i don't remember what this oh just millers they're back there on my printer big millers the pink bags that i send bags in <laughs> those so yeah 
Oh, and also the Pokemon thing. I forgot to show this. It came with a bunch of stickers. And uh, these are like the picks that you would put in cupcakes. We're not going to do cupcakes, but we can use them for other things. Or I'll just give them to Jesse and he can play with them. Uh, maybe stick a couple on the cake. I don't know. We'll figure it out. <laughs> but that's what I got at Amazon. And Joann's. And that Etsy short store, which I'll link. Uh, I can link most of this stuff from Amazon, except the Pokemon thing. Because I think I bought the last one. Uh, but I'll link everything else just in case you have kids in your life or whatever. You're on a grape cutter. <laughs> this is good for kids so they don't choke. Uh, it's recommended, I think, to cut them up to age five. And I always cut Jesse's up because I was so scared of a grape getting stuck in there and me being home alone with him. And that's terrifying, you know. So I, up until recently, I was still cutting his grapes up. And still sometimes I do it out of habit. I'll, I'll be cutting them up and then I'll be like, oh, wait a minute. Because <laughs> he's old enough now to, you know, to chew carefully. But definitely when June, you know, she's little, so I want her to eat the little slices. I think this would probably be good for maybe an elderly person as well. And maybe someone who might have, um, like, dental issues where they don't maybe don't have the chewing teeth. Uh, I know a few people, you know, in my life that have had dental issues and they don't have all their teeth. So, chewing's kind of hard for them. So, stuff like that would probably be good for them too. Anyways, and I bet you, you could probably put other things in here and chop them up too. Other little, like, berries like raspberries and uh maybe like if you have a strawberry and you cut it smaller i don't know i'm just thinking all right so the only crochet thing i have to share you for you guys i did start my halloween projects but they're in the living room so i'll show them to you another day <laughs> but my b flag is almost done the only thing i have left to do is stitch on the little antennas and then make the little hearts and sew them on but i did get most of it done so here it is and i sewed it all together so this is the part that the rod will go through. I didn't do the greatest job sewing these on there. But it's okay. It's just going to go outside and it's going to get sun faded anyways. So it doesn't matter. And then the antennas will be right here. Kind of swirled out with the little heart shapes right there. And then there's the little bee. Oop, he's bent up. There's his little body and his little wings. I think it's cute. It may not last forever. But I'm going to try to put it in a place that's not in direct sunlight. Because I don't want it to get sun faded super fast. I had a reef hanging on my door. Um, that was crocheted and it faded really quick because it's right in where the sun beats down on it all the time. So I'm going to try to put this in like a shady spot. Is my plan. <laughs> but there it is. All I got to do is do the antennas and they'll be done. And I tried to do the back as clean as possible because there's a chance people might see it. But I also don't really care. <laughs> so, um, I didn't really like be super careful. But anyways, I think it's cute as heck. So I'll link that below too. It's called the Buggy Flag. By Heidi Yates. It is paper pattern. and But when you buy it, you get this flag plus the one that looks like a ladybug. If you've ever seen it in my Valentine's Day videos. Or around Valentine's Day. <laughs> and also you get the pattern to make a bee-shaped pillow and a ladybug-shaped pillow. So it's a pretty good deal. It's like $5.99. But you technically get four patterns. Uh, and I love Heidi Yates. She almost always has coupon codes floating around. So you could look on her website or Facebook page or something and see if she's got any deals going on. But I think it's pretty cute. <laughs> so that's, that's my haul. That's my haul. It's 18 minutes haul. <laughs> so now I got to put all this stuff up. I got to try to, I was hoping to find some Pokemon wrapping paper, but I don't think I'm going to find any locally. Uh, I, I, I'm a instant gratification kind of person. I prefer to shop in person over waiting for stuff to come in the mail. So I might just try to find maybe colors like yellow and stuff to wrap his presents in. I still got to buy a couple one more actual present and then a couple I'm gonna get a couple of gift cards for him for like Xbox and Steam which are gaming things so I'm gonna and then that'll be then we'll be done and we're actually we're gonna give him the gifts from us on his birthday but his birthday party is actually gonna be on my birthday <laughs> uh, because of everybody's work schedules so we'll be doing his birthday party on my birthday and we don't we don't do stuff really for the grown-ups uh, Devin will probably buy, go to Walmart or something and buy me some stuff and flowers because he usually does for my birthday and for Mother's Day, which is usually a week after my birthday. Um, but yeah, one year, the year Jesse was born, my birthday was the 7th and Mother's Day was the 8th. Uh, so that was cool. And Jesse was born the 1st, you know, so it was pretty cool. It was a busy week. <laughs> and actually, our wedding anniversary is April 27th, so it's like all right in a row. <laughs> but uh, yeah, so anyways, I'm going to hop off here. I'm going to try to get this edited now get it up it's already almost eight o'clock here though so it might be up late <laughs> but i will link everything below that i can and uh let me know if you guys did any shopping today <laughs> technically i bought this amazon stuff a few days ago but i did buy the yarn today and i bought this fabric a couple days ago she actually shipped it pretty quick i think i bought it um 
what is today? Today's Saturday. I think I bought it Monday night. Sunday, Monday night last week. And then she made the label like right after I bought it. Because <laughs> you get an email when the label gets created. And then uh, she shipped it out. I think she's from like Oklahoma. Let me look. Or Ohio. Oregon. <laughs> I think it was one of those. Um, so it came, you know, all the way across the country essentially uh, in just a few days. That was proof. But, anyways. I'm going to go and clear all this up and go tell Devin he can come out the room. <laughs> He's got both the kids in the bedroom back there watching TV in there so that I could record with my yarn in the background. Because I told him, I was like, I want my videos to have my yarn in the background because it's yarny stuff instead of the closet door. <laughs> but uh, now I'm going to stick my new yarn up there if I can. There's not much room in the red. <laughs> but I needed some bright, pretty red. Um, and then I'm going to go message my friend, Phyllis, because she said she wanted to know what I bought today. <laughs> so I'm going to go tell her. But uh, I'm going to hop up here and I'll see you guys in another video. Bye, guys.